I just got news of, of a good friend of mine passing you know, another overdose. And if you have somebody in your life, a friend or family member, somebody you care about that's suffering, let them know they're loved. Don't give a shit about what you want to do as far as starving them out or, you know, the harsh boundaries that, that come along sometimes with, them, with that way of thinking or, or the love model. I don't care. I don't care. But let them know they're loved in the very, very least. Jeez. Let them know they're loved. For their sake, but also for yours. Because you don't get to go back. You don't get to change your mind when somebody's dead about what you said to them last. It doesn't work that way. The last few times we spoke, warranted or not, it doesn't matter. They're gone. And the last thing that person heard me say was not kind. It wasn't kind at all. You don't get to go back. So I'm going to repeat the monologue that I put at the end of every episode. And I mean it. I really mean it. If you're in active addiction right now, today could be the day. Today could be the day that you start that lifelong journey. Reach out to a friend. Reach out to a family member. Call in the detox. Go to a meeting. Do whatever the hell it is you need to do to get that journey started. Because it's so much better than the alternative. If you have a loved one who is suffering an addiction right now, take a minute out of your day to text that person. Let them know they are loved. Use the words, you are loved. Because that little glimmer of hope just might be the thing that brings them back.